Good morning. So how to get results that last? It's actually a really simple one. And that's actually to keep going when you would normally give up. That week three, week four point, maybe when the scales don't move, maybe when you don't see anything change, maybe when you have one of those weeks where you think, oh, I'm struggling to get in, I'm struggling to get my sessions in, I've been rubbish. They're, they're the weeks where actually if you keep going, you'll start to see results because Often when we quit, there's a lag time, there's that self-sabotage, there's that, oh, what's the point? Might as well start again in September, might as well start again next month, next week. And what you do is you avoid that lag time. You avoid that time that actually makes us go backwards. And instead, we either stay the same and we maintain through tough periods, through times when maybe we're it's not going right. And actually, that's often the difference, as simple as that. Like If we can carry on, even when the scales aren't moving, carry on even when we haven't done all of our sessions, but we've done something. We've maybe gone, you know what, I'll get a walk in instead of the workout this week. You know what, I'll get one from home in instead of coming into the studio this week. They're the differences, like those small little habits. So have a, have a little mantra today, if you like, and go, even if I'm tired, I'm still gonna do X, Y, Z. Even if I'm stressed, I'm still gonna do this, focusing on what I can do, even if I don't wanna do it, even if I don't have motivation, I'm still gonna keep going. Because I guarantee that's the difference quite often. Like I speak to people and on a Wednesday or a Thursday, oh, I had a rubbish day Wednesday, then Thursday I just felt rubbish, so I didn't bother doing it, it was YZ. Then it just snowballed into the weekend. Well actually, can we get can we get that walking in the morning? Can we get those steps in? Can we just start the day with water? Can we like don't underestimate those little things? Can we get some protein in? Can we focus on what we can do? Even if we're tired, even if we're stressed, even if we're not motivated. And get excited for those moments when you're like, oh, it's not working. Oh, a bit stressed out. Oh, should I just check it in? Because they're the moments where you're like, yes, this is the moment where I'm just going to keep going, even though these thoughts come in my head, which come in for everyone. If you look at studies on adherence, on sticking to diet and weight loss plans, there's always that moment in time where these thoughts come in and this, these happen and people fall off. Like nearly despite what they do, of course, um, then we look at tactics to help with that, like support, accountability, like-minded people, community, similar to how we do at Fruit Tree Fit, and, and actually what that's based on from back when, when I used to work in uh, public health, NHS, and diabetes, and bringing like-minded people together, as I saw firsthand, which combined with the research was real powerful to see and still is today. So maybe you need that surrounding yourself with like-minded people to motivate you, to, to make friends, make that community to keep you going as well. We know how important that is as well. But in the short term, keep that attention. Why even want to do it anyway? Does it make you feel good? Yeah, my mental health so much better. I feel so good. Great. Like, just do what makes you feel good today and keep doing that. And actually look forward to those moments, those struggling moments where you're like, oh, should I keep going? Because that's the difference between getting results and not. And you'll get results a lot faster that way. So have an awesome day. Any questions, let me know.